here's the song I know and love. Is today a holiday I'm not aware of? Yeah, it's Thursday. <laughs> we got well, actually there's a few little things that we'll we'll celebrate <laughs> together. Thursday is a holiday. <laughs> I feel like it's a shuttle launch every Thursday. Life has gotten busy. Sort of. Good morning. Welcome into Bacon in Your Mailbox on this Thursday, March the 2nd, 2022. It is, believe it or not, the 146th show of Bacon in Your Mailbox. March? Are you sure? Yeah, I double check that. I looked a couple of times. Uh, I am sure, though, that I'm Greg Milby, community storyteller, and I'm 99.9% sure that you are Jana Clark, community fanatic. Uh, <laughs> but there's always that itty bitty bit of you that isn't really sure if it's me or not, right? It, it world we live in, you, you never know what they're going to do with uh, these uh, these special computer animations and the CGI. That's right. I don't know. I mean, you know, the. <sighs> And the E-Town Tourism budget's got to be way up there. Right. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got the got all kinds of stuff going on there. I'm lucky that my um, connection is of high quality today because yesterday <laughs> it was of low quality all day long. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of tourism and tourism-y things, how about that tourism-y like weather forecast the last few days? My Listen, gosh. I love it. Yeah. Partly sunny, cooler today, though, 57, down uh, to 30 tonight, and then partly right. sunny tomorrow, 65, and rumor has it Saturday, the potential is um, mid-70s Saturday. Stop it. How crazy is that? So, I love it, and it just set, I mean, it just makes me want it to be warm all the time, but the kicker for me is when the, when does the time change? Oh, is because it, that will really make it feel like spring to me. Is it NCAA tournament time? I have to look at it. I, I was, the 12th or the 19th? I don't yeah. know. Anyway, it's in a couple of weeks. But in my brain, that's always like my serious turning point is when we get to change the time. Yeah, I think we're in meteorological spring now. I don't know. Somebody mentioned that but in the office yesterday. Excuse me? We're where? Meteorological. I don't know. It's not the real spring, but it's there. So <laughs> I heard somebody in the office say that, and I probably shouldn't listen to him because it's Casey McQuarrie, and she's probably uh, pulling my leg. Hey, oh, good morning no, to you, I Ken Salee. <laughs> hey, Ken. Uh, Shane Crutcher checking in from Death Valley. Oh, well, that's an up. That dude is uh, moves. I mean, not move. I mean, he's everywhere, it seems like. Everywhere. Uh, Ken says he remembers episode one. You said this was temporary. Oh, Ken, I can't imagine life without it either, really. Yeah, I mean, we do it for Except us. when Greg makes me mad. Do I make you mad? I don't make you mad. It's rare. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ken. J Judy Hobbs is all over it. March 13th, time change. Thanks, Judy. Yeah. Which is next weekend. Not this weekend, but the next weekend. So we are closing in on it. Yeah. Morning to you, Brian Dennis. Hopefully life is going hey, well Brian for Dennis. him. I haven't seen him in a while. I saw Brian this week. Did I was you? at the Lions Club meeting. Oh, you spoke at the Lions Club meeting, huh? No, my son did. Look at that. That's even better. Yeah. So I just got to sit and listen to him. And guess who hit me up to buy pancake breakfast tickets? Oh, oh, Mr. oh, oh. Yeah, I was going to say, he was on that early. I saw that a couple of weeks ago on there. <laughs> It's funny, but Man, I didn't have him yet. So I got to buy him on the spot, which made me look good in front of, you know, made him look good in front of all his friends. Yeah. I need to get up on mine too. Yep. Man, I went upstairs, to throw me a cup of coffee together real quick. And I hit my knuckle on a, on that, on the uh, under cabinet light, I guess. Is it bleeding? Let's see. A little bit. I mean, no, I mean, it's not bleeding much. I mean, it, it just kind of. Wow. Though you, <laughs> you smacked it. Thin skin. Go ahead. You might need that... a tourniquet. Casey and then we'll be talking about my age. It's thin skin. Thin skin. Hey, uh, officially, we got to say good morning. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, <laughs> Carter Blankenship. Good morning, Carter. I was talking about him the other night at the Lions Club meeting, too. He was on my mind. I was looking at a race business stuff 
yesterday or might've been the day before yesterday. And you know, the autism spec run is coming up in April and Carter's team is already in play. So Love if it. you want to sign up, you can sign up and be on Carter's team for the autism spec run. It, it'll be the best team no matter what. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. It, and it's, it's energetic. It's fun. Uh, we have a good time. It's at Severns Valley. You know, they yeah. have that, that race course. Well, we made, we created a right. race course out there. So right. it'll be fun. Uh, looking forward to Join Carter's team. You'll be rolling with the VIPs. Oh man. At Carter boy. He is, he is something else. Love him to death. He's always, always into something. So wouldn't know what life would be out like without Carter. So, Aww. um, weather great. As we mentioned, We've instituted this new little thing at the office where we are uh, trying to get out and walk every day. Sweet. And having these walking meetings. Yesterday, it didn't work out so well for me. Why? Well, I walked Green Space Trail, the Winter Haven okay. Trail, which goes down by the Justice Center. Yeah. You know, it snakes out by the uh, that seafood place. What I can't think of yes. the name of it. Yeah. Maybe seafood. And, and then you go around and you go underneath the bridge. Yes. And you come on the other side and walk around by Pritchard. The see all the, yes. See all the great Joni and her husband do to, oh. to walk through there and see that. Come back and you stop by the seafood place and bought me some fried shrimp. <laughs> so, <they got> it. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, balance, friend. It's all about balance. <laughs> so apparently but fitness is, is, so is fitness it, um, uh, shrimp not- in my mouth. I was going to say, I haven't been on that trail, but is it like, do you, can you see stuff blooming coming? Like in my yard, I see flowers starting to peak up, like not flower, but the green part. Is that the case on the trail and at the Arboretum, I guess? Just a little bit. Okay. Just, just a little, but not, not, yeah. not nothing yeah. to run out there and, and, and check on yet, but it won't be long. No, but weather yesterday was great. So I actually walked, walked twice. I got, got home and we, Jennifer and I took Daisy for a walk yesterday. So, oh. That's good. Sweet Daisy. Because we all lose our mind when we get these stretches of warm weather like this. Oh, I know. Like you yes. can't miss it. You got to, oh, I got to get can't out. Miss it. Gotta do something. And yesterday I had a meeting planned in my building. It was a training and people were driving in from uh, around kind of just the region, just a few counties, maybe Louisville, maybe, you know, uh, out, you know, Grayson County area. And they said it started at one o'clock and they said, we have like 30 people registered. And I said, don't be surprised if some of those people get lost on the way, because it is, if I were out driving a county away yesterday afternoon, I may have not found my indoor training. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. That's why I had some other stuff to do. So I came home and, and cause we had the bourbon raffle last night. I came home to fit in a walk here at the house just because, you know, I wanted AC to get out and enjoy some of yeah. the weather and it was good to yeah. kind of catch up on the day with Jennifer and see how, how things are going it. there. But yeah, so awesome. hopefully you get some other plans and make some plans to get out to the green space trails and, and check those out in Saunders Springs, which is, they've got a, a, a ton of trails out there and Beautiful. Fort Knox, you can go to Meade County and check out, um, uh, buttermilk falls. So that's I love always the waterfall. a nice, nice trail. All right, so uh, reasons to celebrate today because you got to have those. Yesterday was Ash Wednesday. Yes. Today is I want you to be happy day. Oh, what a great day. It is a day to um, show love, care, and concern for others. Which should be every day, but today, since it's a holiday, we need to go above and beyond. And some people really need to make a conscious effort of that. Also, uh, oh, not you. I'm just in, in general, somebody that's watching <laughs> this uh, potentially not, not, none of our regular Baconites, none of our people, one of those per, it's kind of like at church on Sunday. If you feel like I'm talking to you, I might be, I might be, if you don't, well, pay no attention. If you're not sure, then pay attention. Today is American National Anthem Day in observance of the bill designating the Star Spangled Banner as the U.S. National Anthem being passed by Congress and signed into law by President Hoover on this date in 1931. You know, are you one of those people like me that you get chills every time you hear it? I do. I'm one of those people. Especially a really good version. Yeah, I'm and definitely the, one of those people. And the flyovers? Oh. Yeah, yeah. just you gets get you, doesn't it? You get that timing right with that flyover. Yeah. Now my Titans went a little crazy this past season. I think the flyover, one of them went as a fly in and we didn't Ooh. have a flyover for the last three 
uh, home games. So, Got it. So, so you don't even look up anymore because you know it's not going to happen right now. There's some investigation <laughs> stuff going on with that. Got it. Uh, today is cold cuts day. Get your cold cuts. Get you some cold cuts. Of course, you might pop deli meats into a sandwich. You might you might fry them. Fry cold cuts? Yeah, bologna. Oh, okay. Well, see, I don't... When you fry bologna, I don't really call that... I guess it is a cold cut that you fry, but... Hey, okay. That puts it in a whole different realm. All right, well, I'll scratch that for my little... I can't. It's my computer. <laughs> I mean, you can even put it on a fancy little tray and cut them up and put some slices of cheese and call it a charcuterie board if you want. You just swirl that thing around a little and shove it on the ball on the board and you're good to go. <laughs> you're like, what is that? Well, that's that's a rose. No, it's not. Okay, well, it's a tulip then. <laughs> it's a butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a butt. It yeah. is also um, it is also World Wildlife Day. It is International Ear Care Day today. Oh. It is talk in third person day. That is way too how much do, work. How do we fit so many days into one day? Today is overloaded. So the marketing department for these days, the PR department, yeah. didn't really check to see if this day was clear. Yeah, yeah. There's some overlap. And most importantly, because of this show, we have to think of our, to our people to the north. Today is Canadian Bacon Day. Very nice. I like Canadian bacon. Yep. It's known as back bacon to Canadians. Back? Mm-hmm. Back huh. bacon, yes. Love it's actually, it. And for those that maybe do not know, uh, it is actually a little more like ham than bacon. I agree. But definitely um, different. But yes, I think it in our world, it is uh, more similar to ham than bacon. Look at Bonnie. Bonnie had fried uh, bologna this morning. You go, Bonnie. There's nothing like fried bologna. I like it. I do too. Ken, I'm all on board that. Frying cold cuts for breakfast sandwiches. I, I guess when you, then then I would just call that, I wouldn't call that cold cut. But I, I get it that it is. Just confuses my brain a little. Yeah. And I love how we, we change things up to make them breakfast foods. Just, just oh. own it and not even call it a breakfast food. You know what? If you Same. want to have chili for breakfast, have chili for breakfast. I completely agree. And you know, I love breakfast for dinner. I I I love some brinner, as we call mm -hmm. it at my house. So do my kids. My husband, he doesn't like to eat breakfast food in the evening, which is interesting because I don't think he would it would bother him to eat dinner food in the morning if that's what he chose to do. But he's not a big fan of that. And so I try to do it when he's not around. You know what? If I called him and said, hey, let's go, Mitch, let's go day drinking today. He would go with me at nine o'clock to drink bourbon. Well, I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere. Right. So it could be 830 somewhere and you can have breakfast at any time. That is very true. I, I think you can have any item you want for breakfast. If I want to have cereal for dinner, that's fine. If I, I want to have all the time when I live by myself, it was the easiest, quickest dinner was cereal and a banana. Yeah. My dad still does that all the time. How did steak get by as being a <laughs> breakfast, lunch or dinner item? You know, cause you can have steak and eggs. Oh, completely. Huh? Hmm. Huh? It's a new world. I mean, we can do whatever we want. Not a lot of events happening this weekend, except for, uh, one that's really close to me. I'm excited. Uh, we're going to go see the uh, Schoolhouse Rock, not the oh. School of Rock. Right. Schoolhouse Rock, Central Hard and Drama, putting that together at the pack. And that's tomorrow night at seven, Saturday at four. Garrett's in that. I've heard what a lot are you of them. Um, we're going to both. Awesome. Normally I go to one, but Jennifer set me up on this one. Oh, well, she that's split all right. the crowd of people that, that are, you know, that, you know, your family that attends. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're split. So I need both. Gotcha. So, and well, then good I'm him. Or I guess not good luck. You have to say break a leg, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess he's been, yeah. been singing around doing all that stuff. So that's really kind of the, the, the big thing that that's happened this weekend. Uh, that's not, very fun. Not a lot of us besides high school basketball. 
I was going to say there's a lot of high school basketball. There's probably final college basketball games on that you could peek at in between all of your time you're going to spend outside. Yeah. Space jams at the state theater. I saw that because, you know, little kids, they love some space jam. Take them yeah. down there to see space jam. Oh, Jordan yeah. made some money off that thing, didn't he? As if he I needed mean, it. It's so, so fun. Makes LeBron want to soul up even more because he, he couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, do you know what I thought you were going to say when you started talking about sports? Because I know you have an opinion on this. What? What about the Major League Baseball players? I got it right here on the note card to talk about. <gasps> I'm tired of it. I'm done with it. Hang it up then. I know. I'll watch minor league baseball. I know. Like, and show more college games. Can we just watch all the college baseball now? And I'm 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 not mad at the players. Why not? I'm not I mad at the owners. Think. I'm mad at both of them. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, my gosh, how, how much money are you making now? If you okay. want to come up with agreements on the lower side that takes care yeah. of these minor league ball players, so they they yeah. can have a livable wage, I'm all about that. Let's make yeah. that happen. Yeah. But uh, on the upper end, no. Yeah. Sorry, you guys it's are a little. You, just get over yourself, right? Right. And that's yeah. why I get mad at the owners. And then when I think about it more, I get mad at the players. And then I think about it more, I get mad at the owners because the owners are being greedy. A lot of the players are being greedy, but they're not yeah. taking care of the, the, the minor league players that maybe, maybe will never make it to the major leagues. Right. They're living their dream. I mean, they have to have a livable wage. So listen, I, if somebody needs, just need to go out and do a media contract with those, um, uh, lower those farm teams, those minor league teams, and we'll watch them. We'll get, we'll get behind them. Their ratings will go through the roof. They'll get more advertisers. I think they're playing. I mean, because their contracts are not the major league players' association. Right. Right. I mean, but so I'm not, I'm not, I mean, make some media deals with them and get them on, get them out right? there. Louisville Bats, those guys, they are going to be playing this year. Yep. So, Good I, I, I think it's a bad move for baseball because I don't think they've ever really recovered from the last lockout. Yeah. yeah. It was America's so pastime listen, before. And, you know, for a while it seemed like, well, at least in my world, it felt like maybe the NFL had fallen off a little. And a lot of people were because people are, are always drawn to college sports, but maybe professional baseball because they did play during the pandemic when other teams weren't, they were getting that boost in viewership. And, but I feel like this past season, the NFL really gained a lot of fans because the games were different, more competitive. Um, they just did a better job there. And so some of those folks may be like, Oh, forget baseball. Just like you said, forget it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So Bonnie says that all sports players are paid too much. Now I will agree and disagree. Uh, I will agree because it is a large amount of money and it's a lot more than our teachers making. Uh, but I will disagree because the owners are not losing money. They're making money. Yeah. So if they were, if they were negative every year, then, then yeah, the players are, are making too much money. But if you don't pay those players for the talents that they have, then the owners are going to make even more money. So yeah, I get it. It's, it's just out there. It's just a matter of how they split it all up. Yeah. So Ken's got a long comment here and you can't see it all. So I'll just read it. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Have you been to a game? I know you have the owners and league make tons of money off of these guys. Okay. He said the same thing that I'm saying stadium prices, yeah. endorsements, brand deals, merchandise, everything. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a balance. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Now it also causes me to pay hundred and some odd dollars for a, uh, a regular season ticket for an NFL football game too. Yeah. And Ken but says, without the players, the owners have nothing. Well, you know what? But without the owners, the players have nothing. Their their talent is just a is just a uh, a travel ball sports park level occupation. Well, bring it on. We'll put we'll put you out there on the field and let you throw around a little. Yeah, I, I mean, I've got an app that we can sell some tickets on. We can fill the the champions it. fields up. There you go. Let's do that. There you go, Jana. Let's do it. Cancel all it. the tournaments this summer. We're going to bring the major leaguers here. The E-Town Pro League. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about calling Todd. I'll call him. I'll talk we'll to him about him. it. We'll surprise him. We'll just show up. <laughs> Even better. He loves that. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, uh, so Justin Clarkson would agree. Said Major League Baseball, let's just broadcast demolition derbies all the time. 
And listen, listen. He'd be all about that. Oh goodness. And I would too. I'd be about to, let, yep. let's 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 broadcast some demolition derby yep. stuff. You know what? Um, you know what other season it is. Um, my uh freshman tonight starts his first high school lacrosse game. Okay. He's playing um, lacrosse for E-Town High School, and their first game is tonight. The girls started last night. They split one and one, and the boys start tonight, and it's going to be a beautiful night for lacrosse. But he's yeah. very excited. He's never played before. This is his first year to play, and he is – I mean, like, I'm not sure the kids slept last night. Like, he's excited. That's the end sport right now. You know, it's still club in in Kentucky, but it's it's. I mean, there's a lot of travel lacrosse. There's a lot of um. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity at the college level to play lacrosse, and so it definitely is up and coming in our neck of the woods now. Where it, maybe it wasn't ten years ago or so, um, because it started in the northeast part of the country and then it's kind of moved down into our region. Mm -hmm. But we're seeing more and more of it for boys and girls. There's professional it's a fun leagues. sport. It's yeah. it's it's fun to play. It's fun to watch. Um, we have really enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm not. I, I need to. I need to come see a game. Uh, I, I'm not really familiar yeah. with the rules. I watched the professional league on TV a couple of times yeah. a few years back. I, I don't know what they're doing. They're just running around a net and slinging a ball at people's heads, and it it is very impressive what they do. They beat the snot I mean, out of each other too. They do. It is very. It's. It can get super aggressive, and it's action packed. Like there's no. There's no down lull moments in. Um. In. Uh, lacrosse at all it's action-packed the whole time right and and the fact is most kids want to play because wait a minute hold on coach i can hit them with a stick you got it okay i'm in give me you a helmet it. and a stick let's start hitting people <laughs> it's true it's you, true. you worry about shooting reason, that ball and i always wondered before my kids started playing lacrosse why they wear all that protective stuff have you ever held a lacrosse ball <laughs> <laughs> Those things could take somebody out. Yeah, there, there's They're there's heavy. a lot there's a lot going on there. Crazy. Uh, also, it's the secondary season in. Uh, I got my notes are somewhere. Oh yeah, secondary season in high school basketball. Last night in the fifth region Ooh. boys tournament, E Town squeaks out a win over Larue County. They advance. Yeah. So they they beat Larue fifty to forty seven, and Close then game. tonight John Harden takes on Taylor County at six. Bargetown in Hart County at eight o'clock. And those will yeah. move on to the uh semifinals. The girls fifth region will continue on Friday night. E Town takes on Nelson County at six, Central yeah. Harden in Bethlehem at eight thirty, with a championship game, which we hope will be E Town in Central. Saturday, six thirty, and that game would be at North Harden for the chance to go to the Sweet Sixteen. There you go. There's we just planned everybody's weekend up right there with all that. So fun. There's nothing like tournament basketball, though. You know, high school tournament basketball. I think oh. I, I, th I don't think it's as popular as it once was, but there's just something about the the energy level. The popcorn even tastes better in the gym. The popcorn even tastes better. Yeah, completely. Yeah. And then, as a Louisville Cardinal fan, you got to find some kind of basketball to watch because, my gosh, this is a train wreck. You can watch the Cards play baseball. They're that's been a, no, that's been a train wreck too. Oh, I thought they won. They did. They're like four and four on the season, something like that. Oh, okay. Now they've got a young team, and and Coach McDonald said it. It, you know, early in the season we're going to take our lumps, but we'll yeah. we'll get there. So and yeah. and I trust him with that. That might be how the E Town Lacrosse team does. <laughs> so uh, Western Kentucky won last night. They beat Marshall eighty six seventy two, and in in true Wait. Conference USA action. Uh, they play Marshall again on Saturday and they play them at, uh, at, uh, uh, Diddle arena. So that's good. Now I'm going to say this. I don't want this to be taken out of context. Okay. Uh Oh, what Kentucky basketball. All right. You know, I'm not a Kentucky fan and I, I know. you know, there's, there's a bounty out there for me. Somebody will pay somebody to have me in a UK shirt type stuff. Yep. yep. I, I will tell you this. What? Oscar Sheboy. Yes. He is difficult not to like. It's true. I mean, if you know anything about him, where he's from, his family, how he spends his time, um, how many languages the kid speaks, like he is a, like peel a layer, he is an onion. And I agree with you. He's a very likable gentleman and player. 
I think he's a great guy. I, I yeah. you know, just kind of following along, just kind of the story and, and watching him because, you know, Jennifer and I, we like college basketball. Yeah. And when yeah. we watch, he's the type of guy that you can cheer for because he plays on both ends of the court. Yeah. Great rebounder. And I think the other night got down and dirty. Somebody fouled him really, really hard. And, you know, his headband come down and his teammates were kind of trying to push him away from the other guy. And he looked at him like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't really care. He's just like, I just need to adjust yeah. my headband. Yeah. He, uh, and then Brian men mentions this, he preached for 30 minutes this past Sunday. So he did his first sermon at a church wow. on Sunday. I saw it. It just, it's, it, it's hard not to like him as a player. It's true. It's so, true. Yeah. I just can't Gosh. spell his last name. And I don't I, think I'm, most I'm concerned. Can. I'm concerned that that was so difficult for you. I'm, I need, I need that to, to just flow easier and i think you'll you'll be blue before the end of the season no oh no no my team's making me choke every time i watch them play so that's the only blue i think i would be but well you know my dad um the arkansas razorback fan kentucky played arkansas last was it last weekend whenever it was and my dad was texting me he was nervous as could be he was so excited and so we watched them play lsu last night i fell asleep and found out this morning that they barely won that game but so hometown crowd is very excited about so the sec tournament is going to be very exciting yeah. it may be there may be some battles on the court there, there I, I believe there will be i, I think it's going to be a great tournament great and, and you know yeah. i'll have an opportunity to watch more of it because my team lose early in the week <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because they've, give, they've <laughs> given funny. up. I mean, I don't want to say they've given up. They just don't have any drive. They've lost their heart. It's it's time to rebuild. Yeah, it's it's rough. They just need the right leader to help them do that. And that can't happen until the off season. And so it's just a little bit of a, you just got to wait. Just got to be patient. Yep. All right. So yesterday I had a chance to talk to Rick Gaines with the E-Town Hardin County Industrial Foundation. And boy, he was. What, what's he been up to? He was tooting some <laughs> Jana Clark language last night my gosh that dude what? was like oh yeah it was you know it was a team effort to make this ford thing happen and it's just such a growth thing and there is a lot and we're, him and we're going to do a series that that will continue on and that's when you know your community is in a in a great spot when you you can't cover everything in one setting two settings even three settings we're going to have to isn't that the truth that that's a that's very well stated you know a lot's going on when you need a series to keep people updated. Yeah. So it was an 18 minute interview and there's a lot of content in there, but just some of the, some of the high level stuff, just some of the little nuggets that, that I got out yep. of this. So Kruger packaging, I spent some time yeah. over there cause we're doing time-lapse cameras. We've done drone videos, all that 450,000 square feet. Okay. It's, it's a big facility. And when you're in yep. there, you're like, wow, this is a really big facility. It's massive. You can fit 13 of those inside the blue oval SK battery plant, one building. And there's two, they're of doing them. two buildings, 13 into one of them. Yeah, I know 26 of those. I know. That's mind blowing. It is. It is really hard to even wrap your brain around when you think about it. Yeah. There, there's a lot. Uh, I, I do know, and I know you're concerned by that is we've got, I think the the plan is there'll be a thousand construction workers here this summer working on site work. Yeah. Potentially two thousand by the end of the year. And um, you know, we're already our early on, I remember when you and I did a radio interview when we were bragging about how lucky we were to have all these restaurants because there is I don't remember how the scale works, so don't quote me hundred percent right. on this. But on a hundred scale, uh, if you restaurants were, if you had a rating of 75 or 80, you were considered in pretty good shape. And yeah. we had a score of 125 because yes. of the sports part. Yeah. But now the problem is that we're not going to have enough places for these construction workers and, and, and contractors to eat. Yeah. So it's, it's a struggle, right? Because they're coming to work in an, in an area of our county where they're building something. And so when they get there, it will be, I mean, think about it. It'll be groundwork and road work and utilities first. So it'll be a while before there are people that put buildings up to have anything under roof to support them. 
-hmm. outside of the trade that they're doing. And so, yes, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a challenge for every community, especially one that embarks on a project that large because it's never been done before. So we're trying to learn some lessons from other people that have done something close to similar, but we know we have those challenges ahead and, and contractors will come at, in different, um, phases, it'll almost be kind of like a bell curve. It'll ramp up and then and then ramp back and then slow back down. But at the end of the day, um, they're coming into our community to work, whether it is temporarily just three or four days at a time or for months at a time. It, it's I, I don't think we can put our, our head around. I mean, you can because you spend a lot of time in this, but the uh, yeah. the general public and that's why I wanted to sit down with Rick and talk yeah. a little bit and then we discussed doing the series because there is a ton, 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 ton of things happening in this community that, that, that people don't understand. And, yeah. uh, where we live, it, of course, is going to change. No doubt about it. Yes. Uh, but with ECTC, even looking at building a facility there on site to be able to train yeah. these workers, to be the skilled workers they need. That's, that's crazy. I mean, think about that that opportunity, that pathway that doesn't currently exist for high school students in not only in Hardin County, but all the way around this region to be able to go from high school to on the job training and and go right into a professional trade with an amazing company. Mm -hmm. um, it is it's an incredible opportunity for a lot of people that aren't even kind of there yet. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jay, you are late to the party. But that's Jay's okay. Late. Yeah, we're we're not we're not we're not going to judge you over being late to the party. I mean, at least not this time. Not this time. Yeah. But let it happen again. We can't promise. Yeah, I I was gonna, and I, I don't think I can. I was gonna add a uh, a video, and I'm not sure I I, I have it. I'm and you know, I was uh -oh. gonna stall. Uh, I don't. Man, tag on it. It just it's what just was it of? So Act it out. I had uh, the renderings from the, oh. blue, the Blue Oval SK Park. So it's oh. in the video, like eight minutes and some odd seconds in. You can oh. see the drone footage of the entire uh, property. And then they actually place the buildings onto that property. So you can see that's eight minutes and 50 some odd seconds into that video. But I, I'd encourage people to watch it. I mean, it's 18 yeah. minutes and some odd seconds long, but it's a lot of a lot of good content for, especially when, when people are, are, are talking about it you have a little more knowledge of, of, of what is actually going on. That's true. All right. So Jay uh, mentions uh, uh, he's late to the party. Jay, that's very rare that you're ever late to the party. So we're okay. Uh, but right. Jay, I, you and I need to get together. I have cash for you for strawberries oh. that my dad's going to lose his mind if I don't get this cash to you. So yeah, um, Raj can't just Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> It was a Gregmo. I mean, that's that's as close as he's going to get. The Venmo is giving me money to it. take to somebody else. That's that's about yeah, the Mil the Milby Pony Express. Yeah. So Brian says there's so many great food trucks. Can they be contacted and set up to serve? That is that is part of the plan. That yeah. uh, now there's got to be some reliability there too with some of the different food trucks. But a thousand on, workers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they've got something in place that they're they're wanting to do with that. So and, and that has to happen between Ford, the general contractors, Ford real estate development, and then the companies. So they'll um Yeah. They'll be working on that. I mean they already are. Hey dad, see that? My dad if watching, see that? We'll get it taken care of. All right. See that with <laughs> Greg's bloody knuckle and the <laughs> camera. Look at <laughs> I, believe I, keep wow. I don't know you're why it's bleeding. So warning. Much. You're going to have to put a warning on this show that it yeah. is graphic in nature because <laughs> you're bleeding all over yourself. Great. I'm going to get his block like that one time you did when he played that uh, illegal song. It's about time. Let's get, let's get blocked for something else. Not we'll safe for kids. It. Not safe for work. Not safe for work. Images may make some people upset. So there you go. All right. So as we wrap this up, I, we could talk all day about that and we right. probably should, you know, I, we really need to be doing some tourism videos too, Jana. When are we going to start doing those? Okay. I mean, we need to start I, doing I'm right that here all day, every day. Cause I, I agree. 
I agree with Ken. Where where did Ken say that at? Uh, I, Ken says, Jana, when are you going to start a YouTube channel? You're good at this. You are. <laughs> we 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 need we need to be doing some tourism stuff. That's hysterical. Okay, we could be Ken. like this bacon in your mailbox could be like you know bourbon's backyard dynamic duo. We could be like the Batman and Robin of bourbon's backyard. Am I Batman or Robin? You can be whoever you want to be. Because oh, it doesn't wow. matter because technically we'd all both of us be wearing tights. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. <laughs> Batman's got more responsibilities. Robin's got issues like I really think I could be a Batman. So I really think I, I, I don't want more responsibility. So I think I could be Robin. Plus, Robin's a little more colorful. And, you know, I don't yeah. know. I like uh, maybe I am more of a Robin than a Batman. And Batman pushes all the buttons. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, and so. I don't like to drive. Bat Batman drives the Batmobile and Robin gets to ride shotgun. And that's me because I don't like to drive. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's going to work out for us. I'll be Batman. Now, okay. next week on Bacon in Your Mailbox, we'll discuss who is Beavis and Butthead of the... Of the <laughs> 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 it's so, been a while. All right. So I'm going to blow your mind here. and uh, Unless okay. you are well-versed in this. So oh. when you buy your bread. Yes. I, I found this out the other day. Yeah. When you buy your bread, do you ever notice the bread ties? The bread ties? Uh-huh. Do you ever notice them? No. Okay. So check this out the next time you go to the grocery store or even in your cabinet. Just don't run there right now. Okay. The color of the twist tie or the plastic tie tag on your bread can tell you how fresh the bread loaf is. They're different colors. Yeah. It seems like I have heard this before to make it easier for people who deliver and stock and pull product and stuff to know what day the bread was baked. Yeah. So all right, and if you've never heard of this, you're welcome. You can share this with everybody. So listen, so if you save those and you have like, a, you have several of them in your drawer, if you think about it, they're not all the same color. Nope. But I've never really thought of it in that context. And and Bonnie, you are right. Different color for different days. Blue means it was baked on Monday. Wait, you know the order? I do. I'm, come on. Somebody has to prep for this show. The last <laughs> thing you said before we hit that button today was, I really got nothing today. <laughs> okay, blue is blue Blue Monday. Yeah, That's why I'm Batman. Uh, that is why you're Batman. Shush. <laughs> So but how blue, many colors are there? I so want to the, know. There are five. So blue okay. is Monday. Okay. Green is Tuesday. Okay. Red is Thursday. White is Friday. And yellow means it was baked on Saturday. Bakers don't usually bake take, Wednesday? they don't, Wednesday and Sunday off. So there are only five colors. Brilliant. How, how, I mean, how great is that? I just added like a million new brain uh, filled in bil million new brain cells today. You know, when you do a talk sometime for tourism, you can incorporate that into your opening and maybe even I'll, make that the whole feature. I'll work it out. That's one of those. They go, I she's made you. that up. She's make that up. And then they do the Google machine thing in the middle of your talk. And like, wow, this chick knows what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Some GTS. That's what yeah. we call it at my house. Google that stuff. <laughs> There's, we always just say in the office, if there was just a place we could go to actually find the answer. Right. right. If we only had a set of encyclopedias here. Yeah. Because like 15, 20 years ago, when you were arguing in the office about something, guess what? You just continued to argue. That's right. Because there, there was, was no way to no prove winner. somebody wrong right on the spot and shame them because it's right here. I look, I looked it up. You're wrong. <laughs> that, that's why people can't get along because it, the answer is too easy. <laughs> you just can't oh, figure it great. out. That's great. All right. And uh, wrapping up with some bacon bits today on this Canadian bacon day, which is back bacon, which is more ham yeah. or whatever. So um, these are some little tidbits and things you can use, which by the way, that bread thing, that should oh, be the one you go. That's, that's your go-to. That's a total slam dunk bacon bit if I've ever heard one. So uh, bacon bits, did you know the harmonica is the world's best selling musical instrument? It's because they're small and easy to carry around. There you go. You don't have to carry the case on the bus. So. But they're hard to play. That they are. Uh, 
To make one kilogram or 2.2 pounds of honey, bees have to visit 4 million flowers traveling a distance equal to four times around the earth. That's why bees work harder than anything else on this earth. There you go. Love the bees. Busy as bees. Did you know, according to The Joy of Cooking, that's Mm -hmm. a book, one ostrich egg will serve 24 people. We need more ostriches. That's because 23 people taste it and don't like it. And one person has to finish it. (laughs) Very good. I'll give you that one. That was very good. They're like, what? It's ostrich egg. Oh, I'm out. I'm pushing that. Next. Yeah. So the incredible Hulk initially was supposed to be gray. But according to Stan Lee, an issue with the printer turned the Hulk green. And so they stuck with it. Wow. Hmm. He just would have just looked like he had imagine, jaundice. I can't imagine the Incredible Hulk being nearly as character um, rich if he were gray. I totally agree. I'm I remember when that, that TV way. show came out, David Banner, and it started with that slow music and all of a sudden, uh, I was fascinated by the Hulk when it came on, on TV because hmm. I wasn't a comic book person. But So the final bacon bit is one that... Um, We've all wondered, right? When you you just got to wonder. You scare me every time. So NASA has slang. They've got to have okay. slang. Okay. Because there's open communications and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So NASA's slang for floating space poop. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> is escapees. Escapees? Yes, we have escapees. Oh, oh, boy. On the run. There's an escapee on the run. It's floating. So, so there you go. <laughs> Watch the escapee. Oh, Jana. Oh, Jana, you're full of escapees. <laughs> That's fun. That's yeah. funny. That's a Use bacon that bit my children would appreciate. Hey, I haven't seen Jim Long on here today. So maybe that's what we should just start calling Jim Long the escapee. An escapee, yeah. Yeah. That's hey, great. there's our buddy, the escapee. He won't it. know what we're talking about, but he all won't. of us others will chuckle. He, he does not. He does have a Google machine, though, so we may get um, we may get discovered at some point. But we'll we'll do it as long as it lasts. Yeah, darn Google machines. I know boils every time. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up, Jana. Thanks for Good fun. Show. Time. It's always fun. Lots of stuff today. Woo. Yeah. For Shh. I mean, for nothing that we had, we had a lot. I mean, we got bread ties, dude. Yeah. I mean, that's a big one. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this Thursday, March 3rd, 2022. Show number 146. Get outside today. Yes, please Inside get outside. Time outside. Yep. I'm Greg Milby, community storyteller. That's Jana Clark, community fanatic. And this is Bacon in Your Mailbox. Bye, y'all.